Hey, happy Tuesday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, right after these temperatures, when this block releases, we are going to have some severe weather. It's coming in for Thursday. We also have Friday and Saturday involved, which could bring a lot of large hail as well, but all factors on the table, even chances for tornadoes. Now, we'll keep you updated every single day. I'm sorry I've been gone for a minute, but someone needed my help, and you can ask anyone that knows me. When you need my help, I will be there. So that's a good thing to count on, so I don't always try and just make money. You shouldn't live your life according to money. But you can see right here, this is your cape. This is your lift. So when you have all this lift coming on and it finally releases on Thursday, it goes all the way up, brings a lot for Friday, and it gets even stronger for Saturday as well. A lot of strong lift, bringing chances for large hail at least. But once this low pressure moves out on Wednesday, by Thursday, it's going to start moving in from the west. And now it can travel to the east. Even going we'll to get a little upper level low forming in the south central. And that is going to spark off your severe weather. And you can see this on your precipital water as well. So as you go all the way to Wednesday, still all this is blocked in the gulf from coming in. But once you get into Thursday and that surface low moves off, then it pulls up all this moisture from the Gulf and creates your severe weather for Thursday. It's also bringing a lot of moisture to the south for Friday and Saturday with a lot of lift as well. So we definitely have to watch out for a lot of large hail that I definitely see coming to the south. By the time you go to Sunday, it's going to go all the way to the upper Midwest with all this precipitation. And then next week, it's allowing everything to come right back in. And then it's going to be a big event bring a lot of heavy rainfall as well. So next week, there's definitely a lot more severe weather than this week and a lot more rainfall. And you can see this on your winds as well. So you still have this big old mega block. You got your two systems. But once that system moves out from the east, it allows all this warm precipitation to move into the south. And that creates your severe weather starting off for Thursday. It's all coming from the southwest and it's going to add to this gulf moisture and you can see this on your tropopause way up in the atmosphere you see you still have your cold anomaly on the west coast your cold anomaly on the east coast but over here in the pacific you have some very warm temperatures up aloft and that gets cycled right through this is a low pressure going counterclockwise and it pulls it right into the south and creates a severe weather and it keeps moving in all the way to the sixth and the seventh so a lot of warm temperatures aloft, breaking all this cool cycles. Now cold air aloft does help create your severe weather. So this is going to be somewhat capped, but it is bringing severe weather with it as well. So you can see with your dew points, once that breaks for Wednesday, as you go into Thursday, it starts bringing all these high dew points to the central U.S. And it is some strong dew points, guys. We're talking all the way in the 60s, even getting to the 70s. For the Gulf states, then as you go through Friday and Saturday, it continues to build as you go all the way to the weekend. So this is going to bring a lot of lift and it is bringing that Gulf moisture up. So I think it will be extended definitely for at least large hail for Friday and Saturday in the south. And the numbers are just ridiculous on this lift. So as you go through today, you have a little bit of lift. You have thunderstorms that's going to be along the central to the west coast. For tomorrow as well it's going to spark right back up but once you go into thursday then it gets released and all this warm temperatures all this lift that's in the gulf is able to come into the u.s as you go through thursday friday and saturday so as you go through thursday don't go real high you do have an outlook for thursday but once you go into friday and saturday it just builds stronger stronger goes even further up into the north but look at these strong levels that comes in definitely by saturday afternoon over 5,000 joules with your lift a lot of strong lift this is going to bring at least a lot of large hail with that so you still have the severe weather for thursday you still have the five percent and the big 15 percent going all the way up towards kansas here's your cities and states at risk so far and National Weather Service has it as severe thunderstorms capable of large hail, strong damage and wind gusts, and a couple of tornadoes are possible across parts of the southern Great Plains Thursday afternoon and evening. 
But you can also see when that upper level low does form, it creates a lot of chances for your tornadoes, guys. Brings a lot of rotation and atmosphere. So you have development of a few supercells and organized clusters is expected during the afternoon and evening. This is for Thursday, accompanied by a risk of large hail and at least localized severe damage and gusts. Also, the southerly low-level jet is forecast to strengthen across Oklahoma and southern Kansas by early evening, which would enlarge low-level photographs and support the threat for a couple of tornadoes across the northern portion of the slight risk area. So with the upper level low forming right around here, just like I showed you, this part of your slight risk could see more tornadoes than anybody. But you can see this also where your lightning strikes so as you go through today. You do have some storms coming from the south central all the way to the northwest. This will repeat for tomorrow. We're still in that pattern. Your severe storms. But once you go into Thursday, when that surface low releases, then it brings your storms from the south and it starts moving to the east. And once you go into Friday, you really get a chance for large hail Friday and Saturday with all these lightning strikes. We're talking about a lot of lightning strikes, especially in Texas. Look at a bow and out you have in that feature, plus all that white. That is your maximum for your lightning strikes for Friday. Then as you go on a Saturday, it grows even more. It goes in Oklahoma, it goes into Kansas, goes all the way up towards Nebraska by Saturday evening. So this is bringing a lot of storms and it is bringing a lot of chances for large hail with it after Thursday. And once this pattern releases on Thursday, it's going to let everything flow through. So next week, you definitely have a lot of chances for flooding and more severe weather kicking in. So you can see all the way till Saturday, it's not a lot of rainfall because of the pattern. But once you go into next week, then it starts bringing all of your flooding chances to the south all the way up to the north. Now we'll go through your temperatures for you, but you can see as for today, you still have the freezing temperatures for the upper Midwest, the Great Lakes, coming down into the 40s into the south, just like my last update. Remember I told you to prepare for this, then it was going to go away. You have it also all the way till Thursday. All that blue is in the 40s to low 50s, but a lot of 40s going all the way to the south. But once this low pressure moves away, so does that cold air. Now you still remain for the first week in May in the 40s for the northern tier of the U.S., just like I said in my last update, but it warms up every single day. It don't stay super cold, and we get out of that pattern as we go through the middle of May. A lot of warm temperatures moving in, and it's going to stick around. And you can see this here. For tomorrow morning, you're going to wake up. You're going to be in the 40s all the way to the south. And for the upper Midwest, you're still going to be in the 30s and the west coast. Now, your wind chills will be worse tomorrow. This is one of your worst days is tomorrow. You're going to feel like you're in freezing temperatures all the way to, to the Ohio Valley where you're not in freezing temperatures. Just a very cold wind chill. But remember, it will warm right back up for tomorrow. So these temperatures are not going to stick around. As you go through Thursday, you're still waking up in the 40s, but you don't have that cold wind chill anymore. And it's going to start warming right back up again. Go even further into Canada. And after that, it's going to start going on a very warm up, guys. So as you go through Friday, you can see it's all leaving away out the east. And your highs for Friday is now starting to get into the 90s for the south. Why you have this little cool pocket on the west coast where your highs would be in the 40s and maybe the 50s. But after that, it stays warm. Saturday, it warms way up. Sunday, it warms way up. All these 90s starting to spread to the southwest now. And you can see this on a climate forecast system, the CFS. So as you go through Saturday, it's going to warm up. As you go through Sunday, it's going to warm up. Monday, Tuesday, it just stays in that pattern where it just slowly warms right back up all the way until next Friday. And it stays in that pattern, guys. As you go towards the 15th, stays warm it stays on this warming pattern we're not going to stay in this cold pattern very long thursday is when it starts moving out and friday is when it really is gone by the time you go through the 19th and the 20th you're still in this very warm pattern guys where everything is just staying warm so don't worry about these cold temperatures they won't last long Plus, a quick update on your hurricane season. They are doing a tour, a preparedness to get ready, letting everybody know to get ready for this hurricane season. And they are traveling to many places to greet everyone that wants to come and talk to them. So for today, it will be in New Orleans. For tomorrow, Jackson, Mississippi. 
for the fourth or be in Tallahassee and for the fifth. They're going to stay in Florida. So if you want to go talk to them, please go talk to them. They are very good people, and you know how bad we need them for hurricane season. So they are doing a awareness tour. And you also see this here. Once you go from the late teens in May to the 20s in May, then you start becoming favorable environment from the Western Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, also on the MDR, the main development region, which are becoming favorable environment. And as you go towards the end of May, it really becomes favorable and the beginning of June. So I think by the end of May, we could start seeing something forming. And we still have our winner to pick from Friday. To Betty F., congratulations, you are the winner of the Solar Weather Station. Make sure you contact me at this email, weathermanplustoday at gmail.com. That way I can get your address and ship this to you. Hi, Weatherman. Beautiful day in my part of Louisiana. Very warm. I, I love to hear all that. I love to hear from all y'all all the time. I love talking to my community. And being from Louisiana, trust me, I know about these temperatures. I do not miss sweating at my bus stop at 6 o'clock in the morning with the strong humidity levels. But congratulations to you, to Betty. God bless you and your family. I do hope you do like it. And remember, guys, we are giving away another one for tomorrow. This is all year of 2023. So I just want to give you a heads up on what is coming in the coming days. Since I am back now, I will up upload every single day. Keep y'all updated on what's going on with the severe weather. Remember, if you ever need me, email me, and I will be there for you. You should always be there for your brothers and sisters. It's just like you want people to be there for you when you go through hard times. Amen. Today, I want to talk to you with Psalm... 25, 1 through 8. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Yes, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without cause. Show me the ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all the day. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindnesses, for they have been ever of old. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness' sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore will he teach sinners the way. Amen. Thank you so much for your time. God bless you and your families. And remember, above all things, the most important things is all glory always goes to God. Our Father in heaven, Yahweh. That's why I don't show a lot of these food videos because he says don't make videos or show people in public of you doing charity work because they praise you instead of praising God. So please, anything I ever do on this channel, never give praise to me because I'm, I'm I'm a sinner and, and, I, and I know good just like everyone else in this world. All my hope is in God. So please always praise God for he is the way and he is the only helper we have in life. Other than that, we will eventually destroy ourselves. <laughs> But all glory always goes to Yahweh, our Father in heaven, forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Have a great day, everyone.